Hey, it's Dave Fields back with the Drink of the Week being brought to you by Best Value Wine and Liquor in the Wegmans Plaza in West Seneca, the Wine and Liquor Chateau in the Dashes Plaza in Williamsville, and Midnight Liquors in the Copenhagen Plaza in Tonawanda. Now, there's a big event happening this weekend. It is the Kentucky Derby, and there are two things you need for a great Kentucky Derby party. First of all, y'all need a big old hat because they wear big old hats in the Kentucky Derby, and you need a mint julep. And to have a mint julep, you got to have good old Kentucky bourbon. That's why we have the Woodford Reserve I'm going to show you how to make a really easy mint julep to go with your big old hat for the Kentucky Derby. First of all, you want to start with some fresh mint. Mmm, it just smells so good. Get yourself a glass, take the mint. Now you want to take out the leaves off the stem, put them in the bottom of the glass. Then you want to take what they call for two cubes of sugar or about a teaspoon of sugar. Put that into the glass as well. And then what you're going to do with that, before you do anything else, you're going to muddle it together. You're going to kind of crush the sugar and the mint together. If you don't have a muddler, uh, you can actually break up the mint leaves uh, before you drop it in the glass. And what you can do is break it up that way. So give it a good old turn, get it all mixed together. Now this is where it gets a little bit different because usually then you add the liquor, then the ice. But here you want to add a couple of ice cubes first to your glass. And then you want to add the bourbon, about two ounces of the bourbon. And then you're going to take that, stir it again, get it all mixed up in there, add some more ice to it, a couple more, and there you have it, a perfect mint julep just in time for the Kentucky Derby. Big hat, mint julep made with Kentucky bourbon. That's the only way to do it. Enjoy. Happy, happy horse watching.